Good afternoon guys, MC Procrastinary here. I haven't talked to you guys for ages, to apologise. It's what, like four or five months since I've had a chance to put a video together. And that's because I've been really, really busy. I've been busy with work, I've been busy with business, I've been busy with the family, blah, 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 blah. And um, yeah, I thought I'd take a few minutes out of my day to um, just kind of give you guys a rundown with where the business is at, what's happening, and um, you know, what kind of cars I've got at the moment. Not bike related, so let's just show you what we have here. So, um, as for those of you that might know, I set up a chauffeur type service built around supercars. And then as I was kind of building things, I kind of thought, well, actually, it would be really good to have like a luxury sedan for doing weddings and stuff. So I went and bought this. So this is a Lexus LS 600 HL. The H, H standing for hybrid, L standing for like um, pretty long wheelbase. And it's, um, yeah, it's like a 5-litre V8 with um, just short 500 brake horsepower, not 60 in about 5.2 seconds. That's uh, not to 60 miles an hour, okay, for those of you that work in kilometres an hour. Um, and, yeah, it's a bit dirty at the moment because, like, I have problems with my drive. Um, I've tried to do some remedial work here just to test out, see how much of a difference it would make putting these things in, but it looks like I'm going to have to dig the whole damn thing out and put them in and do it properly, because it's just a mismatch of mess. Uh, mismatch of, mismatch of a mess. Anyway, so, this car, I bought this um, secondary to the Maserati Gran Turismo, and the reason I bought this is because the Maserati Gran Turismo, uh, I'm just going to put the camera on so you can see me talking. Yeah, the reason that I bought this is because the Maserati Gran Turismo, the idea between choosing that over say like an Audi R8 or Lamborghini etc to facilitate the supercar service was that it had two seats in the back, one seat in the front, plus myself, I can take three passengers. Mm, yep, yeah, not at all because in New Zealand we have some crazy laws that mean if you've got a two-door um, it means that you can't take people in the back. Long story short, I got complied, I could take one passenger, I did my head in, I couldn't work out what I was going to do with the business other than be restricted to one passenger in a Maserati which seemed counterintuitive so I kept pushing it because I couldn't let it go um, in between times I bought this car which is stunning really nice to drive the Lexus that is and then I got hit with something from the NZT was uh, we're sorry but we shouldn't have really complied you you need to take the rear seats out <sighs> yep so the wonders of trying to make a business, trying to be different, trying to be innovative in some way, trying to find some hole in the market that allows you to facilitate a service that doesn't really exist, um, doesn't always work out quite too well. So um, quite a bit of money into it now and uh, made some decisions and ultimately I went out and bought a new car. I'm having to replace the Maserati. So the Maserati is for sale. I've already bought the new car. That's going to be arriving with me next week. I won't tell you about that now because I actually might spend the effort or find the time to put together a video and do a, a walk around that because it's a very special car and um, yeah we'll see where it goes. Anyway so back to this car, so the Lexus. Oops a daisy, stopped that last uh, video there when I picked it up. So this is the Lexus, um, got a bit of dirt in the seats at the minute, needs a little bit of a clean but it is a very nice car. Oh, this is cool. Watch this now. So, uh, so this is what a two hundred fifty thousand dollars luxury Toyota. I'm saying Toyota because obviously Toyota own Lexus. This is what a two hundred fifty thousand dollar Toyota looks like inside when it's branded up Lexus. I mean, this the quality is really nice. Look at this stitching all the way through. I mean, this is plastic, pretend wood, but it's a nice finish. Yeah, it's polished up very nice. Nice power button, let's power it up. Woo, look at that. There's that V8 just popping away. So you can see there the hybrid. Yeah, I agree. But I want to show you this. See, it's got a TV in built entertainment system. It's got a sunroof. I mean, look, this is the, this really is the absolute perfect wedding car. All right. I mean, initially when I set out this business, weddings weren't on my mind. It wasn't something I considered. I, re I really wasn't thinking about that. But um, yeah, that's what happens when friends get involved, right? They um, add to your ideas and then you start compromising on some things to try and facilitate more things. And it can be dangerous. So anyway, yep. So this is Lexus inside. You can see it. It's quite nice. And um, yeah, look, it's... it's uh, 
it's a it's an old man's car right like it's yeah is that is that safe to say is it safe to say every old man drives a car like this no but is it is it something that a youngster might go wow i want that car no probably not but I will say when I get in, because I like my flash cars, hence the Maserati Gran Turismo, hence the bikes I've had, you know, I like my flash bikes, I like things that look racy and cool. You sit in this car and it is so, so comfy. I mean, I like lots of cars these days, got all sorts of functionalities with regards to the seats. The, the seats are heated. Boom, oh, there we go, heated seats. All right, I've also got heated seats in the back. Now, there is a model of this that comes out with an additional extra where the, the back seat there on the right hand side Yeah, is that your right hand side? Yeah, right hand side is um, It's actually got a massage chair Now when I bought this, the guy that I knew who I bought this off who was the dealer um, Told me it had the massage chair in it And it didn't <laughs> But uh, it was all good because it's a nice car So uh, I decided to go ahead with it anyway um, And look yeah, so this this is this is it, right? So um, I've had lots of problems. I launched and then I had to retract my launch because I got hit with those compliance things after the fact. And now I'm a little bit in limbo waiting for this new car to come through. It's sort of a little bit difficult because I'm firing in two areas that the new car that I've got really is limited to quite a niche market. And that is cool but it means that i have to market that quite differently from if i'm marketing the lexus i am semi tempted so what i'll probably do right so probably this is what i'll probably do actually i'll just show you outside the back of the car now let's, oh, let's have a look outside because i'm just talking shit. um so what i probably will do i will um I'll probably try for three to six months to see how this baby goes because we'll be coming into summer in three, four months or spring in a couple of months. And um, that's when weddings start kicking off. So I'll probably, I'll probably run it for six months, see how we get on, see if it's viable or not. And um, yeah, just review it after that. And then it may have to go as well. So ultimately what will happen is the Maserati will be gone. Potentially the Lexus could be gone. And it will be down to just one car that's going to hold the weight of the whole service. Because it is unique. That's what I set out to do originally, create a unique service. And look, if you guys are in America, this service exists. It seems to do reasonably well. Here in New Zealand, it doesn't exist. So, well, at least in Wellington, it doesn't exist. So there's an opportunity there, right, to make a business around something I enjoy and share that to people that would maybe not be able to go and afford these kind of high-end cars. So, yep, that's pretty much it, guys. That's me. Um, I might actually do a video um, because one of the videos that I did like ages ago to do with finance and getting good rates, etc., and understanding how to negotiate that, I may put another video together because the Maserati, like I got a phenomenal rate on that. And um, yeah, like I applied certain tips to make sure that I got that good rate in fact I got even better than I expected so um, good thing to understand so I might share how to do that because for anybody else that's looking to buy a high-end car they might not understand the limitations or what they can do and how they do it and obviously how to save money because they're not cheap <laughs> so anyway guys that's pretty much it that's me for now MC Procrastinator see ya